Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies with angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with we pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us bow our heads to pray. O God, who through the blessed Apostle John have unlocked for us the secrets of your word, Grant, we pray, that we may grasp with proper understanding what he has so marvelously brought to our ears through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. <coughs> Amen. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. John. Beloved. What was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we looked upon and touched with our hands, concerns the word of life. For life was made visible. We have seen it and testified to it and proclaimed to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was made visible to us. What we have seen and heard, we proclaim now to you so that you too may have fellowship with us. For our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this so that our joy may be complete. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. <laughs> the Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are around him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice, Rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice, Rejoice in, in the Lord, Lord you just. just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upward of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice, Rejoice in, in the Lord, Lord you just. just. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from 
the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not where they put, know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. The both, they both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, and the one who had arrived at the tomb first, he saw and he believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. As we celebrate the, <clears throat> the Feast of John the Apostle today, and I was sitting here reflecting on his life, one of the things that, uh, of course, came to me was that he was held in high esteem and affection by Jesus. The proof of that more than anything else is that Jesus entrusts his mother to John's care. Um, Mary is a widow, and she is the mother of an only child who is about to be put to death. And widows were very, very vulnerable. They had to be taken care of by their children. Jesus was her child. And so he had to entrust her to someone else, and he entrusts her to John. Now, the crazy thing that came into my mind today is that you reflect on these things year in and year out, and always something new comes to you. For John is the only apostle who was not martyred, although they attempted it and it failed. Instead, they ended up exiling him to Patmos, which was an island in, upon uh, top of a mountain there. And my question was right away, and what about Mary? Did she go to Patmos with him? And I don't know. I bet you there are there is stories and knowledge of that. And it made me want to study a little bit more about what happened to John. We know he didn't die until he died in Ephesus, and that's where Mary lived in Ephesus, and history tells us that's where she died. So when did he leave Patmos, and was Mary with him the whole time? Was she also exiled along with him? It makes me wonder all the more about this beloved disciple of Jesus who was so close to him and was the youngest of all the disciples and probably just a boy when he began with Jesus, ends up becoming a great man of God who reveals the mystery of Christ that can be ascertained only by a deep love for him. May we also have that kind of a deep love for Jesus. May we have that same love for his mother so that we too may grow in wisdom and knowledge of the presence of God in our lives. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> for the church, may God continue to help us grow in holiness as we nurture a culture of healing and life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the salvation of the world and for men and women of faith willing to proclaim the gospel to the ends of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who are struggling with doubt, may God encourage them and increase their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may God strengthen us against temptation and graciously hear our prayers for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rejoice in the eternal presence of Christ, most especially for Howard Riley being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? For Alan and Jonah 
because they had their 70th wedding anniversary today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. I'd ask your prayers for Helen and I as we uh, travel today down to south and on to Fort Myers, Florida. And uh, we won't be back here in this parish until Easter. I pray to the Lord for our safety and well-being. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Hear us, Lord, who come before you in confidence and trust. Teach us always and in all things to do your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, God of all Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be 